Okay, good morning everyone. Shalom Aleichem, Bruchem Abba'em. We're uh, continuing in Mishnah Bura Daf HaShavua. We're learning Simon Tzadi Vav, Seif Beis. This Simon is talking about um, ensuring that there are no interruptions and distractions in order for one to have Kavana. So in Sif Aleph we learned that you should not hold items when you daven, you should not hold tefillin, you should not hold a sefer, you shouldn't hold a plate full of fruits, a knife, or money. We saw that there's a machlokes achroinim. Is it dafka these that if they fall, they could cause damage or they could cause a hefsid? And some say no, lav dafka. It just pick those cases, but you should not behold anything uh, during daven. That was the mission of katan hey. Sif Beis, we're going to learn about those items that you're allowed to hold. Mutar lechos machsar tefilois biyaday b'shashem. It's you're allowed to hold the machsar of tefilois when you're davening. I don't know, it just hit me. Why is it called a machsar? Probably because it has the whole cycle of tefilois throughout the year. So it's stama kasha. Why would, it, you shouldn't call it a Rosh Hashanah machsar. If it just has Rosh Hashanah in it, it's not a machsar. Machsar means it has, a, a siddur should be a machsar. The machsar should be a siddur. Okay. But that's stamakasha. So you could hold the machsar. Since you're holding it for the purpose of davening, you will not be distracted. Dumya delulav. Similar to a lulav. Since taking it is a mitzvah, you will not be uh, distracted. If you didn't start off davening with the siddur, you should not... Uh, go after it and look for it in order to take it. Unless the Siddur is in a special designated spot. Then it's permitted to take it even during davening. In order to daven from it. Okay, says Mishnah This is going on the Rama. That you're allowed to hold a Siddur. However, if you didn't start off davening with it, you should not go after it Lo yachzer achav says Mishnah Mibnei Shemitred, because looking for it will distract you. Because of Taz, do adin the issues are lemisha mespal mitoich hasidur. Who adin if someone is careful that you excuse me that one should be careful if you're davening from a siddur. Shayir shayim tchila kol makom shetzach lespal ba oisay tfila. That you should mark off all the places that you need for that tefillah. I guess back in the day, they would have, you know, the first three brachas. And if it was for the week, you know, turn here. If it's for Shabbos, turn here. If it's for Musaf, turn here. You know, so don't don't leave it till middle of Shemana to find what you need to say. Be Mark it off well so that when you need to turn to a certain spot, you'll find it easily. I assume this is talking about during Shemana Esrei. Stamazoi, let's say, you know, you get to Slichais. Do you have to put a bookmark in your Slichais so that as soon as the Tzibur gets there, you'll be able to turn there? I don't think that's what he's talking about. It might be a good idea. Anyway. Anyway. You want to make sure you say a certain tefillah. I don't think he's talking about forgetting the tefillah. I think he's talking about finding the tefillah. You don't want to start searching for it in Melo Shemana Esrei. Nowadays, you don't really have to search for it. Everything is pretty much in the spot. But uh, it's also a good idea to mark off if you need to say something. For example, let's say today, Yalav Yavai. It's probably a good idea to put something in the Siddur by Yalav Yavai so that you don't forget it. I know Rav Miller would put his entire set of keys on the added tefillah that he would say, this way he wouldn't forget it. Okay. Lehispalel <clears throat> um, If your sitter's in a designated spot, you could look for it. It is found in the Achroinim. The Achroinim teach us the Shla and the Berhetev. Um... By the way, the, the Berhetev brings that by Chazar Shatz, Hashatz, the Siddur should be open in front of you to listen to whatever the Shliach Tzibur says. If only there was a movement in Klal Yisrael, 
that people took upon themselves to be looking inside the Siddur during Chazar Sashatz. It would be a very nice thing. If you want to, if only, if only. You know how many Zuchusim one would get? To answer every Amen properly, that the Amens by the first three brachas, one is Mechavein, that you believe that it's true Hashem is the source of blessing, he's Magein Avraham, Hashem is Mechaye Mesim, and then by the Bakashas, you have in mind, you believe Hashem is Chaynein Hadas, and your Mespala, that Hashem should be Chaynein Hadas, like the Esh Avram says, um, MS the Halavai. It's true, and Halavai, the Riban Shab should bestow it upon. Okay, Simon Sadi Zain. Shaloy Yegahik, Vashaloy Yefahik, Vashasatvila. You should not. I think Yegahik means to burp. I think Yefahik means to sneeze. Vashasatvila. Let's see. Lo Yegahik. Moitsi mi gufai le piv ne ficha mi toich savai. To emit from your body into your mouth, a bellow out of satiety. It's a burp. Yeah? You shouldn't yawn. Okay? Yifayich is to yawn. You open up your mouth to let out some kind of hot air. So it's not a good idea to... Uh, you should not burp or yawn during davening. I know I have people, the second I start talking, all of a sudden they yawn. I try not to take it personally, you know, but I guess you can't help them. But you should not do so during davening. If you have to yawn and you can't control it, cover your mouth. You should not be like this. Put your hand on your chin during davening. Because that is... Arrogant. Says the Mishnah Lafahik mitoicha oines. If you have to yawn, who had in the begiyuk mitoicha oines like Yisrael. Likewise, to to uh, burp out of er oines is not aser. Umad doloi nekatoi. The reason why the Mechaber didn't speak about that. Efshem shem deboi like a chiva la niach yadai. There, you don't have to put your hand on your your hand over your face. When a person burps, his mouth is not so open. A burp, the duration is much shorter than a yon. The lower jaw. When, if they go like this during their singing, I don't know what it does, but I see them do that. Somehow it helps project or something. Uh, um, they're not trying to be arrogant, but rather they're just trying to sweeten their voice. But if it's not at the time of singing, it is prohibited. Sif base. It is usher to spit. If you can help spitting, then have it get absorbed in your cloak so that it's not so apparent. The imhu istinis, and if a person is fastidious, if a person is very picky, so he can't stand to see uh, the spittle absorbed in his clothing, then throw it backward. Hopefully not at the guy standing behind you, but throw it backward. Says the Mishnah Baruch, Laroik, V'chol she'asr b'soy chatfila, asr afila b'tachlunim shalach chatfila. Whatever you can't do during Shemana Esrei, you can't do in the supplications after the Shemana Esrei. The chol zman shalai pasah havle, meaning here he's not talking about tachlun, he's talking about personal supplications at the end of Shemana Esrei. The chol zman shalai pasah havle ka'oymei lefnei ha'melech. As long as you did not take the three steps back, you're still, it's like standing before the king. It is like standing before the king. Okay. Let's say you can't keep the spittle in your mouth. You're distressed and you're distracted because of it. So what should you do? You should spit. You should spit in your cloak. 
After you spit, you need to pause and wait the amount of time it takes to walk Dalet Amis. Why? The Archa Shulchan says, so it doesn't look like you're spitting at what you're about to say. And the Kafa Chaim says, we're worried you might have some spit left in your mouth. Um, fine. And your mavliyay bechsusay, mavliyay bechsusay, shaloyi anira. So it doesn't. It's, so it's not apparent. Kagoyin bebeged atachtoin, in your undergarment. I guess beged atachtoin means your undergarment. So you're gonna somehow spit into your undergarment. But to spit on your outer garment, it's asr, it's sin. In our areas, they wear fatsilas. Not sure what that is, but it was a very stylish garment. Even though um, the spittle is apparent, it could be it's permitted. Since that's what it's made for, it's not disgusting. Some kind of bib or apron. Ah, Shkayach, Rabbi Yankov. Where do they wear it? Around their neck? I, I remember when I was a kid, they used to come to Shabbos and wear it around their neck. But otherwise... Uh, and what, what, that's what it was for? Yes, I think it's Nice. Do you have any? No. Okay. I don't go in the ways of my father's <laughs> If if you could get your hands on one, we, you know we could start off tomorrow with. Uh, okay, good. So Rabbi Yaakov is saying that it's a handkerchief. Even though you're going to see it's why the kivin shalso kach imbo mishamias. That's what it's designated for. Ken kasa magen avram avasharachum kasu shagam bezet sarch lichroich makoim harag shalay nera. Even if you do it in a handkerchief, you need to. Um, wrap it behind you so that it's not apparent. Okay, two more short ones. Beino yachal. If you're an istinus and you can't be mavliya b'chusay per shemos or lavliya b'chusay, it's disgusting for you to put in your undergarment. Or you, you can't even cont- hold it in your mouth before it gets absorbed in the clothing. Or if it's a nice garment, and if we require you to uh, spit it into the Undergarment, it's going to bother you. So, zarka l'achar, what does that mean? Hainu shahifich pan l'acharav, you turn around. Aisha zarka biyadeh l'acharav. Or, you put it in your hand and you throw it behind you. Avaloi klape mala, do not throw it upward. Shanira kakaifar. You're going to look like a kaifar. And you don't want to look like a kaifar. You came to Davin like a good Jew. The last thing you want to do is look like a kaifar. Um, what about to spit on the floor? Will it get absorbed right away? The Shulchan Aruch Arav says it's better to do it in the garment. Now, you threw it behind you. After you finish one Esrei, the Shulchan Shlomo says, step on the spittle. Why? Kavoid, base, haknasas. Okay, Rabbi Yisai, good to see everyone back. Yashukach to Rav Yeager again for giving the Dvar Halacha. And uh, we'll see everybody tomorrow. Regular time. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Kaltov. Agun Khadish. Kaltov.